Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astro Castle. So it's been quite a while since I recorded and, you know, if you haven't seen the video of me explaining why I've been away, uh, it'd be a good idea to go ahead and, and watch that one. It's just a channel update video on my channel. But as for the Battle of Ashikazi, we're going to accelerate things here in the south now. So we're going to move ourselves over here to Shafki. Our units have moved through the area. And we're going to send in a light lance here to discover what's in the actual town of Shafki. We've got to liberate this town. I've moved the Dragon's Rejects north of the town to cut off any reinforcements from arriving. And the first Ashikazi militia and the static defense units will move in and take the city. All right, so here we are, Scout Lance is moving in. We've got to find out what's going on in the outskirts of this town here. So I think we just move into this area up here, uh, see if we got any enemies. Um, there's supposedly uh, ground forces like infantry around here too, so we've got to be careful about that. Uh, I'm not really sure what to expect. All right, so Pixie is long range firepower, so let's put her up here. And then our fire starter will move down. Now we have a new uh, new pilot for the fire starter because our last pilot got killed. So we got Cactus. I just actually picked her up. She's not all that great. She's got um, gunnery too. So let's hope she doesn't have to get into a lot of combat here. We'll bring in our second Panther. Put it up over here. Let's bring our commando down. It's been rebuilt since the last time. I believe this was the one that got, got uh, wrecked pretty badly last time. So... It's got a large laser, a pair of clan uh, ATM-3s. I just put on the bolt-on tandem 15s. I was able to pick it up in the store when I um, actually had to jump systems to be able to find a mission. So Move auto did that, and then we got uh, bolt-on 15 on this one as well as the Owens. Uh, to I'm just trying to get reacquainted here. So let's put we got leave it on overload with the AMS. No idea what we're up against, uh, but I am going to bring it right in. I think we're going to bring it right up into here. See what happens. And then our Plainsman vehicle, I think, can come up here as well. It's a pair of SRM-6s. So that should activate this uh, quest here. Let's see what we got. It's probably turrets, but we'll see what happens. We've got the movement speed to be able to maneuver around fairly well here. Oh, we got forces coming in. So the turrets are... Technically enemy turrets. Showing up is red, so I guess we gotta smash the turrets first. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, Pixie. Uh, let's try and take out the close well, we can't take it out from here, can we? Alright, what's what here then? What's this guy? So you got light laser turret, probably a pair of medium lasers. This is a one skull mission, by the way. Three energy and a ballistic, I don't know what that it might be a rifle. So light LRM turret, probably three LRM 10s, if I had to guess. And what's our last one here? Uh, light laser turret, probably a pair of uh, medium lasers, probably. Waiting for orders. So, oh, we can get a shot at the turret over here. How close to our guys? Are pretty close here. What's the chance to hit? Pretty good, though. So I feel pretty good about taking that shot. Uh, are we on sprint? We're just on move. Can we sprint? We can jump, too. I mean, we could get... Is that a... That's a solid red line there. With this... We can't get there walking, eh? No. Alright, let's get into here. We're going to take a shot at the closest turret first. I mean, I guess we should probably take out the LRM turret. How much armor does this thing have? 160? Maybe we should go after the LRM turret first. Like, that's probably a pair of medium lasers. Uh, yeah, I mean, this guy, if it gets a good chance to hit, could probably do more damage than the paramedium lasers. That's what, 40 times? Yeah, if it hits with everything. But I mean, it's just going to be splashed too, so let's go after the close turret. Alright, yeah, let's just go after this close, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've played, I'm completely indecisive here. Um... Yeah, this does pinpoint though, so let's go after this guy. We'll just try and take this guy out early. Uh -huh. Alright, not bad. So it's been a while, like I said, since I've played, so I've got what can I do for you? just recently updated everything in the game. Let's get into here. Hmm, that's not a good spot. Um, that's actually bad. 
or better I mean uh, so I updated everything so it's weird I haven't played in a while but the game just seems more fluid I don't know if they've just made some performance fixes or or what it is but it just fe feels a little better all right let's just go after it with this Here we go. apply a little bit of damage point the weapon apply damage liberally all right let's get in with ready for orders you I don't want you too close to the enemy let's get into here on my way we should be I mean we got lots of medium lasers in the fire starter we should be able to finish this thing up now the fire starter does have a double heat sink kit net now so we should be able to fire like I think I added that between the last battle and this one we should be able to fire just about everything yeah we're pretty heat neutral here should be able to fire everything and be fine so we'll just shoot it all there you go see ya one left turret all right um what's up commander what's up commander Let's get in the trees. We're gonna go after Location confirmed. The second pinpoint turret right here. Now I don't think it's the same. I know in the past you used to be able to destroy the build buildings under turrets and the turrets would collapse. But I don't maybe maybe mention down in the comments, I don't think that's the case anymore. That's got a lot of armor. Alright, snub hit. We may find out inadvertently by destroying the building by accident, but we'll find out. Alright, let's bring you back to here. Actually, let's just come into here. Generate some evasion. No shooting, just running. Get the trees, minimize any damage we might take. It's hard to get it, like, be hidden from the enemy here. So we've only got 60 rounds for the ATM, but that's fine. It's 10 turns of firing. Alright, well... Not that great. Aye, aye. And we got our pair of SRM6s on this guy. We're going to come around to a point, hopefully, where we can see this other turret. Back here. Uh, it's not really ideal, is it? I mean, we can get into... Uh, it just This was the laser turret, so let's not get in close to that guy. Can we get... Hmm. I mean, maybe we... Use this guy as... How much armor do you have on the front? I mean, you're okay with armor. Yeah, so we're going to go here. And hopefully this will be the target for their shots. Plainsman's got pretty good armor on the front. So let's just go after this with the SRMs. Alright, not bad. That turret will go down next turn for sure. Oh, he's got a large laser. Okay. And a machine gun. All right. I thought it may have been a machine gun, but I wasn't going to say anything because it was, I could have been an AC2 or something. All right. Damage Not going after the vehicle, but that's okay. Yeah, that you know the AMS Mark II did a pretty good job there too. I don't know how many it got, but. You, Wasn't watching, but that's fine. All right, let's get in to get both this LRM turret and the other one today. So we'll move you into here. On my way. Take on this LRM turret. Uh, we're gonna hang on to the rockets um, because if I remember the second half of this mission correctly, if the enemy. Uh, drops a lance and we have to defend the buildings um, there's a chance that they could take buildings down before I, I get ya. a chance to kill them so having as much firepower early on is better let's move into here I read you commander moving out and we'll take a pot shot across here because we got the range and good chance to hit firing, Roger that. firing on target. nice oh yeah baby see ya gotcha we may get lucky. And, well, we won't get both turrets. I was going to say, we, we might get lucky and get both turrets. Not today, we won't. All right, let's get you into here. Affirmative. You can finish off the close one. Ah, the people screaming. All right, firing at you. This fire starter is going to be deadly. Critical hit, Commander. Nice shooting. How's it going? Nice shooting. Get into here. Moving out. 
And then we'll move the planesman straight up into, uh, up the nose of the other turret once this turret's gone. Engaging target. There you go. Well, yeah, see the turret I think stays intact. You used to be able to shoot the buildings out from underneath them. Or the walls out, because the walls had far less hit points than the actual turret did. So it was just better to, like, shoot out the walls. Especially on, like, when you're playing, like, you know, three and a half to five skulls. The turrets have got so much hit points, it's just better to shoot out the walls. Firing a full salvo. Nice damage. Who's up next? Wait, who's left? Waiting for oil. Oh, you. Didn't know we had anybody left. Moving to Let's go slowpoke. Alright, firing. A nice shot. Alright. Uh, you know, the funny thing is... Sorry, I gotta pause here for a second. <laughs> so... Okay, it's my turn. You know, one of the things that it has kept me away from recording for so long is like having to edit. And you within yeah. the first 10 minutes of recording this, I've been interrupted by my son twice and inter interrupted by my wife once. And I mean, it's not like she was asked, like my, my kid was like, what are we doing for dinner tonight? And I'm like, I don't know, ask your mom. Delivery. And he comes back and he's like, oh, can we order something? And I'm like, just go hey, ask your mom. And then she calls me, okay, what do you want on your pita? And I'm like, for fuck's mm. sakes, just standing by. Just give me something, I don't know. Anyway, to be fair though, they didn't know I was recording, so it's not <laughs> it's not Funny. like Oh uh, man. Anyway. Yeah, so um, I'm hoping to release a video before I release this one explaining why I've been away for like a, mo a month and a half. No problem. And my health is fine. Like it's not wasn't me, it was not my family, it's it has to, it's mostly psychological. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll be describing that. And I'm, I'm sure you'll have seen the other video by now. If you haven't, go, just go to my channel. I'll put it up on the, uh, on the, um, as the returning video. So it'll be at the top of the list. You can just take a look at it and explain why I've been away. But anyway, uh, interruptions, interruptions. Okay, let's keep going. Anyway, I'll uh, see you guys when we get up to the next area. All right, here we are. So I think when we move, I think we got to get somebody probably down this hill. So it'll be the plainsman most likely, but let's get set up. I don't know if it's going to be turrets we're facing here. Like sometimes you get a, because uh, this is a blackout mission, right? Sometimes you get like hidden units in the buildings and then turrets will activate or sometimes the enemies will drop from here and you got to defend this base. So let's just find out here. Um, we want to get you close regardless. So... I don't know, maybe here? So we can run down the hill and run, or run up this way if we have to. Um, snub nose SRM6, let's get you into here, kind of. Let's still use the snub. Large ATMs. And you have got to be close, so let's get over there. And we're going to bring... Can we get you down there? How far can we get you? Wow, you can't even get down... Oh yeah, because you're wheeled, right? Uh, okay, so we're not activating at the moment. Let's just get you over here. Moving to position. All right, let's just brace our main unit here. My neck. We're gonna lose all our evasion, but what do we do? Good for now. All right, Pulling we're gonna sprint you up. Can you? You can't even get down the hill. You can't even get down that hill. I wonder if this will be close enough. Let's find out. Copy that. There we go. Perfect. I can put the main compound. There we go. Yep. Okay. So these guys are on our side, and we got to defend against these guys coming from down here. Oh, standard inner sphere standard. I wish I could get. I, I don't know if there's a setting to get rid of these guys. Oh, they have more than one unit here. I wasn't checking on who I was facing here. It's Comstar. Okay. So they do have six units. All right. Waiting on you, Commander. That's good. Six against six. Fair fight, kind of. Coordinates received. Let's see if we can get rid of the standard early. I mean, what do we got here? There's a cyclone. Locust 3M, 1V. So three locusts, spider, and the cyclone, which I think is probably 
the one we want to target first, but I think we're going to go after this guy. We're going to drop some remote sensors in this area too. Now, when I, shoot you, I think our PPC, like our snub nose, will clear those if we hit the same area, but we should have some of these lighter mechs. Yeah, see, we want to get these guys before they get out here. Some of the lighter mechs should move through these and out into the open. I don't want to shoot at the standard with the other PPC because it'll just get rid of it. Or get rid of the uh, sensors. So let's get you... Mm, let's stay in the trees. Maybe not the best positioning, but we got to get close with these medium lasers to be effective. So let's fire them all. Ooh, that's a CT open. That's nice. Might be able to finish it off here. They don't have the uh, the hard gel, so that's uh, going to help out. We're going to target them again. I mean, we could target this locust, but it's pretty low. Let's go up to this guy. Acknowledge. Ah, a couple points. Good to go. Kind of sad that we're not hitting that CT. All right, we'll move up to here. I think we'll go after the locust. As much as I want to... Well, you know what? No, nah, because we want those guys to go through the sensors. So let's go after this guy. Yeah, we definitely would have cleared those sensors if we had fired over... I think we lost a few here. Just by firing the PPC. At I least it looks you? that way. I could be wrong. Um, let's get you up to here. On my way. We're shooting at the side of the standard now, unfortunately, but... Let's see if we can finish up with a kill here. Got the tag Got on. It. Yep, tag hit. I was waiting for that delayed explosion. I saw the red or the orange numbers. I was really hoping that it would explode, but nope. Yeah, you got some sensors on you now. So for those for those of you who are watching my seven days to die content as well, I mean I'm probably mentioned this in the uh, the other videos to why I was gone, but the uh, I will I have like I don't know eight episodes of the most recent series, the Darkness Falls series recorded still. I've had them sitting there in my uh, I'm like waiting to be edited box for like the six weeks that I've been away. I haven't edited any of them, so. Um, so those will still those will start coming again. I'll start. I'll get them edited and get them posted. Yes, commander. All right. Well, let's see. If, yeah. See, you can't even get down the hill there. This thing is so so limited. I mean, do we go down? We can get down the road here, though, right? Like in theory, we should be able to get down this road. I think we go that way. On the move. Right now, it's pretty much useless. And if we, if we had moved to try and take that shot, we probably would have had like a 12% chance to hit or something. So there's no point in doing that. Yeah, kill that standard, please. Yeah, no hits. No biggie. Okay, a pair of ultra... F a pair of... Pair or just a single? Those are twos. Ultra out of cannon too. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, kiddo. Let's apply some damage to these guys. Well, it looks like it's going to be this guy. I'm going to drop the sensors down there too. If we clear them, we clear them. But we got like another four turns of firing at these guys, so. Yeah, I AMS that PPC. Current conscious special one of four. Huh? Four activations of bleeding. Okay. What can I do for you? What you can do for me is perhaps get up here. You betcha. Get a little bit of evasion, not much, but we should be able to target this guy with some good chances to hit. Let's see if we can finish him off. That should probably do it, yeah. There we go. It says pilot incapacitated. Now, I don't know if all the damage to the pilot um, killed him in the process. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but 
I was just thinking for for role playing purposes, That's if you're big. like, if you're saying that you're selecting pilots from the uh, pilots that have lost their mech out of, out of the enemies, then um, it causes issues, not knowing if they were killed or not. But I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just being nitpicky, I guess. <laughs> ridiculously nitpicky. All right, let's fire on this guy. Plus, his comms star. They're not gonna like switch to our side. So finish him. Nope. Reporting. Critical hit. I don't know why I'm targeting this guy. Maybe because I've got a personal bias against, uh... i got a personal bias against, um... Elementals and standards and stuff. Well, we shot all those missiles down. Alright, let's see. Can you get... Ah, perfect. Beautiful. Let's go on this locust. On my way. Double time. Get on the locust! He ran, drove over the park. Weird, I, I, I destroyed the building here, but I didn't crush any of their cars. 13%, huh? Well, sure. Copy that. Oh, we got one hit, not bad. Destroyed a shoulder. Reporting critical hit. I wonder if I'll be able to kill that guy with just the, uh, the plainsman. Good to go. Who's that? Oh, that's the, uh... What are you running down there for, buddy? Terrified? Scared to death. Scared to look. He's shook. He's a halfway crook. Uh, let's go after this cyclone. Move we got good you. chances, so we're gonna take it. Standard's already gone. Cyclone could be bad news with all the weapons on it. LRM5s. Flamers. Yeah, I could do some good building damage. Let's go after this guy. Firing full on it. Nice. That's what I want for this fire starter. Just massive hits close range. I mean, for a 35 ton, I mean, that's okay damage, I guess. Oh. Gotta get used to the melee again. Well, there's a knockdown. I don't know if that was a charge or what that was. But my well, I don't know. That's like my commander. Her piloting's at five, so spiders running. Ready for order. Well, Beat the cake. cyclone basically uh, committed suicide here, so let's uh, take advantage of that. Oh, you missed with the PPC. SRMs are gone. That's right. Come on, finish him. Nothing. Well, good thing we got some strong turrets. Like I, I like I like those uh those was that like a SRM? Wait, load that was like eight damage. Standard LRM turret, LRM 15s. You couldn't have been firing dead fire, because that's like out of range. Is it not from here to here is out of range for dead fire, isn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Orders. I don't know. Could be. This guy gave gave us gave himself to us, so we'll just take it. I think I hit the I don't know, man. I'm still not thrill thrilled with melee. I wish there was a checkbox you could just turn it off. There's something about, like, stompy stompy robots that I like with just guns on them as opposed to, like, punching and stuff. I don't know. Like, I understand doing it. But there isn't any situation, yeah. unless the mech is, per like, specifically designed to be a melee mech. I can't see any way traveling at, like, like if you think about 150 kilometers an hour, you know, at top speed, I'll make them that you could slam into a solid I'll metal, eliminate. like, another mech at 150 kilometers an hour and not wreck yourself. Like, I don't see how that's possible. Go. I don't know. 
convince me. I, I could be completely wrong about that, but I've been in pe plenty of car accidents, and I can tell you, Don't you know, need to tell me twice. even light speed, you know, slamming into another vehicle, it's just like the massive da amount of damage. Tell me what no matter how much you try and brace yourself, doesn't matter. Come on, there you go. We got lucky there. Gotcha. We got lucky there. Commander. Okay, uh, I want you to hunt down this freaking locust over here. I like how they spread themselves out, though. I gotta say, pretty nice oh, AI move. It makes it tough for me to trace chase these guys down. They're not in good positioning, though. But still, they're not uh, making it easy for me. Um, I'm gonna leave the tandems oh, yeah, off because we don't got a good chance to hit. All right, not bad. We'll get our vehicle around there. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, melee, like I can see punching. Like if you're standing beside somebody and punching them, sure. Or kicking them, I get that. Um, aye, aye. But I think that those kind of melee attacks should just be limited to, um, like if you're already next to the appointment opponent, because running 150 kilometers an hour to get beside somebody, then to kick them in the leg, I don't see how that's possible. Try it. Try running full speed up to your friend and try and kick try to kick them as you're in full motion. Waiting for orders. Well, at least we didn't get targeted. That was what I was concerned about getting targeted by the enemy and when I was down, but I think taking that cyclone out and the standard out kind of helped What's us out. Next? Uh let's go after this guy. On my way. Got heat issues because we were in the fire there, but shouldn't be too, too bad off. Yeah, we just get some sensors oh, down there. Oh, PPC hit though. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, critical hit. So for this series, I'm hoping to finish it off. Like I'm, I'm, I'm going to, like, I mean, as you saw in the opening animation, I'm going to advance the, um, the uh, combat and we're just going to get into like, heavier combat earlier, I think. Um, just to kind of get this series finished up. Because I want to get into something new. Uh, also the, um, the, uh, oh god, we can't even get a direct line of sight in this guy. Um, let's not even move then. Oh, we can if we don't move. That's so weird. Sure. Uh, let's see if we can take his other leg. Maybe, maybe not. We want to throw the tandems up. Our vehicle's there, though. Now nah, we'll, I mean, we'll hang on to them. That's spread everywhere. Um, so I want to get this series finished up. I mean, we're going to have some good battles with all of the uh, units. This might be the last I battle for ya. this, uh, for these guys. Um, but we're going to have the Urban Mechs. We're going to have the Night Gaunts. Um... Yeah, fire again. This be good. Nice. Another hit like that and you're toast. Dragons rejects will be Commander. will be fighting as well. I want to do a big battle with all of the mechs. Um, rather than doing like splitting them into like we'll have maybe like a couple of single lance no. battles for each of the groups, the main groups, and then a full battle for like with everybody. I think the uh I think that's what we'll do to uh, finish up the series. And we'll say like that probably the Dragon's Rejects will probably be the last major battle for vic for the final victory. Simply because they have the, like they've got, um, I think the uh, tonnage wise, they've got the heaviest amount of like, like heavy like load of mechs and stuff. So I think um, that would probably be a good ending for the series. Fire on nice. Report. Come on, bail out. Nope. Not gonna do what can it. I do for you? Not gonna do it. Alright, let's get... That's my kid calling my Moving out. son, letting us know our food's probably here. So let's get this finished up. Firing. Time to die. Um, but yeah, so, like, I want to try and get it, like, at least, re like, really high-level battles. Hopefully get five skull battles just to see what happens. And there's more where that came from. I tried, I tried doing a five skull... Just really briefly, just to see what kind of um, opposition we would get Commander. Uh, with the clans, with my clan unit, just to see what kind of five skull mission we would get. And it was brutal. Like it was an a, it was an attack base, which probably shouldn't have been 
the mission I chose, but I figured it would probably, probably be the easiest. But they had um, 20 max. They had full like full I, lances, yeah, yeah. and they had I think it was four dire wolves. There was I think there was at least four of them. Oh no, sorry, not dire wolves. Uh, dashies, the hundred tonners. They had four of them on the battlefield. So, Got it. like, no matter what we do for that, it's just yeah. going to be brutal. Like, it, like, at five skull, it's going to be a tough fight. So I have to choose the right battle for that. I think. Waiting for order. Hopefully, it's not too too bad. Uh, you're f relatively fast. I'm going to get you chasing down this spider because I don't think he's coming back. He's decided he's just wants to leave the map board, but there's no way out. Yes, boss. All right, you need to get um here, I guess. We're gonna get you no going Don't up the run. hill. Yeah, let's just target this guy. Try and get that kill. Target, Don't really me. kill too much. Uh -oh. Don't really kill. Don't really um, care too much about the salvage. Right here. Um, you can jump down, but you can sprint probably faster, right? Oh yeah. Let's go hunting. Let's go spider hunting. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, so like I said, I'm really hoping that um, we get some good fights. Got it. I think if the fights are mediocre, like I'm not going to end the series until we get a really, really good fight. You know? Something that's going to like really challenge us. Yes, Commander. And as, as much as I hate to say it, I want to see myself take some good damage in it too. Like I, I don't want to come out of it completely unscathed. We'll Unless like, like if for whatever reason they have, like there's really, really good enemies and we somehow come out you know, I don't want to say unscathed, but like minorly scathed. I'll take that as a final battle, but if it's like a five skull mission and it's just like too easy, then I'll just I'll just do another one. Alright, Darius is saying that the uh Waiting for orders. Dinner has arrived, my pita has arrived, so <laughs> we gotta get this done quickly and get back to the dropship. Food's food's up. So let's handle these guys. This guy. Well, wait. Uh, that guy's still alive too, if you want to call it that. Good to go. Finish you off. Time to die. See ya. Probably should have gone for a headshot, but. Waiting for orders. I have a feeling that co if you were in a mech and it got cored, it's just as good as a headshot. I mean, it's gonna like blow the head clean off the mech. Got it. I got one hit on him. Not bad. He's just gonna stand there. Yeah, he's too afraid to too, too afraid to engage. He knows I'm hungry. He knows I want to get back to my to my dropship and get back up to the Argo so that I can get some food. But uh, he's like, no. Well, I guess technically in this battle, I wouldn't be getting back to the Argo. I'd be getting back to the front lines. Actually, these guys are moving in to hold this area. Got the urban mechs coming up. Waiting orders. To start sweeping the area. Remove the remove the enemy from here. Let's get this guy up. I'm hoping this planesman gets the kill on this one. Be nice to uh, have the vehicle get a, uh, a, a, a respectable kill rather than something that's lying on the ground. Although that would be a good role for a vehicle. Like if you think about it, like if you had a really super fast vehicle, Pedal to the metal. you could like. Especially if it had like a lot of close range weapons like SRM sixes and stuff, you could use it as a finisher. So if you had mechs that Tell could me knock the enemy down, then just use your fast vehicles to just speed right up to that it, getting gaining lots of evasion, Commander. and then hammer it with all the close range weapons, hopefully killing it, and then at the end, like the next turn, home. just speed away, just to keep maintain the evasion. So this yeah, this vehicle's got like what? Seven evasion. All right. Here we go. Out of ATMs next turn, so we gotta clean this guy up. Waiting for orders. Can we get up there? Oh, we can. Nice. Well, it looks like the vehicle's not gonna get a. On uh, way. Double time. A full battle on this guy. Ooh, did I? I misclicked. I get these little lag spikes sometimes when I when I select my area where I want to go to. 
and then go to click. I get this like brief like little lag spike. So sometimes when I click, yes, command. The uh, my mouse movement has caused the um, like location of where I want to be. On the move. To Full shift. Speed. Doesn't happen all the time. It's just these like weird little lag spikes. I hear ya. All right. Um. Sure. Uh huh. Let's get on this guy. Let's get our rockets up. Let's get our rockets going. Not a lot, but. Here we go. Two hits with the rockets. That's not bad. Want some more? Huh? All out of SRM, Commander. Okay, Pocky Clips. Um. Yeah. On my way. Let's point blanket. Why not? Why not? That vehicle reminds me of something. I'm trying to remember what it... You know what this looks like? If I'm not mistaken. If you guys ever played the game Homeworld, this re kind... Like, this, the striping on this reminds me of... I think it was the cruiser of one of the two... Um, like, you could select kind of which style you wanted your ships to be. There's the default, and then there's the other style. I always chose the other style. This kind of has the same kind of feel as... I think it was the cruiser that you get later in the game. Anyway. Targeting for an alpha strike. Yeah. Take that. I bought the Homeworld Remastered Collection a little while back. I haven't had a chance to play it, though. I don't even have it installed yet, but I did buy it because it was, like, super cheap. I can't remember how much it was now. Good to go. But it was, like, ridiculously cheap, and I'm like, I can't not buy that. The game was so good. Like, I, I don't know how many hours I spent playing that game. I never did get into Homeworld 2, which was... I think it was the prequel, I think, to the original one. There we go. Mission successful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the prequel because it was like you had like a land carrier, I guess it was, where you're traveling through the desert. My son played it a little bit, but I never did get into it. Um, wasn't really my bag, but the space game was, was pretty good. Okay, Cyclone. You know, I don't even know if I'm going to play these guys beyond this series, so I really shouldn't worry too much about what I'm taking, but we'll grab the core. We do need, like, we're, it's... For this actual playthrough with the two light lances, we got the clan lance and this lance. Um, we need over a million C bills per month to be able to make our financial reports. I'm going to grab that for money. Uh, double heat sinks are probably a. Well, we got two of them already. And once again, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to grab. I'll just grab a pair of them. It's fine. Confirm that. So we got the inner sphere standard, which I'll just sell. Three locust parts. We can put together a locust. That's not bad. That can go, uh, we don't need the five, we don't need the machine guns, we'll keep the case, I don't know if we need it or not, those can go, that can go, standard fusion core, do we have a backup, we do, we can get rid of that one. Alright, so we did make a bunch of money, I think I got my, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have my, um, sell values turned up. Alright, well that's the end of that fight, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more. Like I said, I'm going to get back into uh, recording fairly frequently again. Um, I don't know how often I'll be posting, but I'm going to try to post as much as I can. I'll get back into the swing of things. Um, uh, as far as Battletech goes, like I said, I don't know how often I'll post. I'm trying to get one up, like, well, at least three or four a week if I can, which will be good. And if I can get back into doing it daily again, that'll be awesome. Um, like I said, I haven't stopped playing the games. I've just kind of stopped recording and editing them. So, um... So yeah, hopefully I can get back into it and uh, get some stuff posted again for you guys, all right? Once again, sorry for the uh, long um, uh, break there, but it was sorely needed on my part. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.